Okay. We're going to be playing some Preach Shaman. Um, they're my favorite decks I'm playing right now. It's uh, not perfect yet. I'm not really finding good lists. It looks like a free shaman OTK, but I just I like the thematic free shaman. And so that's what I'm going for. Now, I tend to be pretty good against aggro decks. But if I'm up against like another heavy control deck, uh, it's it's not the best. Now, depending on Druid. <coughs> Uh, token Druid I can usually deal with pretty well, but if it's like a weird Celestial Alignment Druid, it depends on the hand. <laughs> so I always like to play um, Diligent Note Taker, Wind Chill when I can do it in the same turn, <clears throat> so that I can get an extra... Ice off for Baron Glacier uh, into Parrots, or if I get Ice Revenant down early enough. But against a heavy aggro deck like this, I will probably. Uh, I'll token this turn. I'll probably play it next turn. So I won't be getting it on Ice Revenant, but I can freeze the Vibrant Squirrel. So. Make sure I don't take too much damage this turn. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good roll. Um, either the 1-1 one, one or the taunt token to have a little interaction with the board are both both good. So now I can start controlling. The nice thing about wind chill is you, you don't lose hand size, but you do help to control the board. Um, I'm actually going to leave this. I'm not going to attack in uh, because now that I have frostbite... I can make his next spell cost two more with the honorable kill. <laughs> and usually they won't attack into my board. So I will get the honorable. I'm not going to freeze this turn because I want to get another wind chill. Take out the squirrel. Oh, uh, realistically, I should have. Um, taking out one of these guys first and now if he draws acorns you know that's my fault <laughs> but that's kind of where I sit now this turn I might skip out on diligent since he has the big boy out there um, which is his Park Panther. So instead, I'll Ice Revenant and freeze. So now I have a big threat on board that he's not likely to be able to heal with because he can only cast a three cost spell. <clears throat> he's getting really unlucky with his acorns as well. So here, I'm probably going to look for a good taunt. <clears throat> oh, Abominable Lieutenant, always great. I'll just go ahead and attack here. It, it gives him a better trade against me, but he's going to have that anyway. I Yeah, so I look for the possibility of that happening, where I take the 4-4 with the Abominable. And now I have a really good board that's going to be pretty resistant to anything he's going to do. <clears throat> uh, I figure he's going to try to protect his peasant uh, pretty much at all cost because his peasant's going to be drawing him squirrels. <clears throat> Snowball fight, great. Um, probably going to hit... Unfortunately, I don't have a way to kill the Annoyatron, but I can do this. 
which guarantees the kill on that. <coughs> I guess it didn't guarantee, because technically the Noitron could have got hit, and then uh, Grave out, and then the Noitron again. But it didn't happen, so I'm not concerned with that possibility. Ideally here, I will eat Grave Owl, uh, but it doesn't really matter. And doesn't that feel good? Watching a druid waste seven mana on that. <laughs> so I'm going to gain some armor and go ahead and kill Grabo. <clears throat> I'll take out the other one. He'll get Grabo back, but I'm not really worried about that. Um. I'll go ahead and put up my my freeze minions. Get them get them started. <coughs> so he needs to do fifteen to me or eleven from hand on eight mana. Druid can definitely do it, but the way he's playing, I don't think he has it. Ooh, perfect combo. Well, so I can guarantee a kill on two of his minions. The Kobold. Oh, I did not think about that coming back on my minion. That was my bad. So... Pretty well. What was my last battle cry? I don't have an ice spell in hand. <clears throat> so in the likely case, I live this turn. Yeah. I'll have some healing next turn. <laughs> and... I really don't think he's going to be able to do enough damage to me here. I think the game's kind of winding out. Because, um, yeah, you just can't. You can't keep up in terms of damage. Yeah, yeah, he recognizes the abominable. It's getting too big. <coughs> so the nice thing here, I know... You know, I take out his board, and I'm in a really, really clean position. Um, yeah. So I do want to kill him again. <coughs> and then I want to get rid of... His other minions. Play diligent note taker. Heal. And go ahead and heal again. See if I can get a healing totem or a taunt totem's good too. <coughs> so now he's top decking. Um, even with a recycling, he's he's pretty well uh, lost the game got 19 HP. Uh, I mean, he can flood his board with tokens all he wants, but it's it's a little bit too late. <coughs> I thought about, um, instead of doing the double heal, eating whatever was in his hand, which would have been really good, because as it turns out, he had Carolarius uh, Rome. I didn't realize that at the time, but, you know, take what you can get. <coughs> he should have probably killed... Uh, Cheaty snowballed, but you know, whatever. Go ahead and get past. What was my last battle cry? I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, that's what I thought it might have been. Hmm. That's actually pretty good.
So I go here, into here, I go ahead and play Revenant, go face. <coughs> so again, he can get Grobo back, but, you know, Great Bell's only doing so much at this point. Okay, it's a good trade for him, though. Probably should have used... <coughs> but he's keeping surprisingly in this game. Uh, but I can kill Greybell this turn again. Wind chill's gonna be great. Ideally, I will um, soon draw into a something. It's not bad. So he made a mistake there. If he had just used the tiger, he could have done all that. That's just really unfortunate because I can't finish off the, uh, the girl there. Would it be worth the extra healing to play the totem? Ooh, forgot. Whatever. I'll just take out that. Might be better anyway. <coughs> In the case that he draws a lot of acorns, I can heal the fool. I forgot I was overloaded. Save the, save the freeze for a little longer. Freeze the heel. Nice. So finally I've, I've drawn into a bear and get and he'll be able to do the whole thing. I have another parrot in the deck too, so that's gonna be a big reload. So I think I just go ahead. Well, how much health am I at? If I don't kill his stuff on board, I'm dead. So I'm gonna go ahead, heal up. And then I'll have a big bear next turn.
It's good stuff. <laughs> Perfect. Ooh, that's a gutsy. So let's see which one gets it. That one, okay. Oh, no, lethal. You might have been lethal, that turned out of a no. And that's how you beat a token dread. Right, 